Juan, Juancho. Right, so in this episode, guys, we're going to be reviewing Diplomatico Manchuano rum, which is an excellent, excellent rum that I've been gifted. So we're going to do a little review, have a little tasting, tell you a little bit about it, what it's really good to use for. Let's get stuck in. Hello, hi, and welcome back to The Humble Bartender. I'm Will Crawshaw. If this is your first time tuning in or you've stumbled across the channel through the suggested videos features, do please consider hitting subscribe, turn the bell on, so you don't miss out on any cool content to come. Today's episode, we're talking about a rum. I've not reviewed a rum on this just yet, really. So this is Diplomatico Mantuano. So this is a beautiful rum that I was gifted, actually, for winning an incentive at work. So I love Diplomatico. I love their Reserva Exclusiva. This is the kind of first time I've had this in the house. So we're going to dive in, tell you a little bit about it, and we're going to have a little taste as well. So Diplomatico have three different rums in their core range. You have the Anejo, Mantuano, and the Reserva Exclusiva, with the Reserva being the kind of the most popular. It's actually the sweetest rum out of the three as well. So presentation, you've got the familiar kind of Diplomatico style bottle, nice and chunky with rounded top to it. Really, really nice with bright orange colours that kind of set it apart from the other bottles as well. So the chap on the bottle is actually called Don Juancho, I believe. <laughs> He's a much heralded spirits collector in Venezuela. So rum itself, Diplomatico tells us is aged up to eight years. So it's actually a blend of column, batch kettle and pot still rums. So 70 CL in this bottle, which I have there, should set you about, about 30 quid, which isn't, you know, too expensive considering the, the product that we have here in our hands. Really delicious. The Reserva Exclusiva is actually not much more than that, but it obviously depends what kind of flavor profile you really want to go for. For me, this is delicious. Nice to sip as you get in from work over ice or makes a really, really good rum old fashioned. Delicious. Cracking daiquiri as well. Really, really nice. So we'll pour a bit into the glass. I don't have a nose in glass here, but this will do just fine. It's a little splash of the rum. You can see the color there. It's kind of dark reddish, amber kind of hue to it. Beautiful aroma diving out of the glass. They say it may well have been colored with caramel, being it only eight years old. You know, that's quite caught a lot of color considering it is quite young. So no messing about. On the nose, you've kind of got a, a really nice sweetness and a wisp of vanilla and orange and a very mild woodiness. It smells really sweet. It smells like this is going to be sweet. Kind of got little honeyed notes to it. Almost a little bit of a chocolatey coffee note to it as well. So I'll have a little taste. Let's prepare the palate. Oh, well, wow. deliciously smooth. It's not as sweet as it smells. You get an overwhelming taste of orange and caramel with a little bit of a back note of coffee as well on the on, on the palate itself with a little bit of a spiciness that just kind of warms up throughout the finish. Yeah, big vanilla notes, huge character. Great mixability this. Really delicious, super smooth, great quality rum. Some of the best I've tasted. As I say, not too dark, not too sweet. Really mixable. Great, great little drink. Really, really nice. Just a solid rum all round, guys, really. This is a beautiful, smooth, affordable rum that you can have to mix into fantastic daiquiris, as I say, old fashions, rum runners, whatever you want to do with it, get creative. You can really play off the orange and caramel notes to it. As I say, with the little wisps of coffee, caramel, and a little bit of an oaky finish in the back as well, it's relatively complex but not overwhelmingly so you know it's not the most complex rum i've ever tasted but it's a really really good staple really delicious great to have on the back bar good little drink go give this a try guys i hope you've enjoyed this little i know it's only a short one but i just thought i'd give you a little review of what i've got sat on the back bar at the minute so go give it a try guys as i say it's about 30 quid i'll put a little link in the description as well to the amazon feature let me know what you think let me know if you've tried this question of the day what is your favorite rum please do drop me a comment is it a diplomatico is it the reserva exclusiva is it ron Capa, the 23 or even their xo it's fantastic uh, Mount Gay, do you like Mount Gay? Let me know, I wanna know what your favorite rums are. Whichever I see the most of, I will get a bottle in and review as well. And uh, tell you my thoughts and feelings and we'll do a little test and see what we can do in regards to making a cool drink with it. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Again, please do like, share and subscribe if you enjoy what I've got to say. And I'll see you very soon. Yeah, it's banging.